Hi everyone and welcome to another depressing day in Bloxburg. Because Bloxburg are making their game even harder for players to play, I've come up with some tips and tricks for OG players as well as noobs on how to play Bloxburg in survival mode. Let's get into this. And just a disclaimer, some of these tips and tricks are overly exaggerated. And that's just because I have a dry, sarcastic humour, as well as Bloxburg being an absolute joke. So hear me out, guys. The first tip is to delete plot. I know this sounds really painful, but... I myself literally had to do this only a few days ago but only do this if you really do not want to work. I know a lot of OG players may have like a huge portfolio of builds so maybe just go through them all and see if there are any plots which are worth deleting instead of working. And on that note RIP to my Love Island build. I know it's really sad but this is only if you are in survival mode. Now the next tip is in relation to the faint feature. To avoid getting that unnecessary fine which takes you to the imaginary hospital we have to get into the habit of staying in build mode especially if like me you record or you may go afk from time to time try to get into the habit of staying in build mode i know as stupid as it sounds but i found this method a lot easier instead of reaching for items in my backpack or remembering to sit down in the middle of the road also staying in the bathtub can also stop you from fainting but remember if you're afk you will have to have your automatic bills on so now that we're in this cost of living crisis in blocksburg we now have to be extra careful with our money so that means that donating is now a thing of the past so unfortunately we now have to get into the habit of saying no whether it be your bestie your role play friends sorry but the answer is now no no donations it's each to their own and this may also mean that role playing will have to be limited as well again your answer the majority of the time has to be no because the more you role play the more money you are gonna have to spend whether it be just house builds or even redecorating your role play kids room and for the next tip as sad as it is for me to have to tell you this i think this next feature is gonna have to be used a lot more yes unfortunately players are gonna have to be blocked and then they are less likely to ask you to role play or to donate so my next survival mode tip is to park responsibly and this is because the whole point of these tips is to help you to be more responsible with your money and we definitely do not want to be paying extra fines and bills so long gone the days when you can just dump your car here whilst going to do pizza delivery instead we have to move the car and park it responsibly outside mike motors and oh my god i have just had a thought maybe they've enforced this new towing fine so that we are now forced to park in that graveyard parking lot and you know guys the parking lot behind the gas station which no one uses or even knows that is there it's literally part of the background so another tip for og players is that if you accidentally slip up you faint or maybe your car gets towed away best thing for you to always have in place is to have your automatic bill off so if you do run up an imaginary hospital bill or a towing fine you can pay them when you are ready it just gives you that little bit extra control of your game now my last tip for og players is to get yourself a private server yes it is going to be a bit sad and lonely but unfortunately that is the way that blocksburg is heading and it is a much smarter way to avoid any beggars unnecessary role players and exploiters and now i'm going to talk about how new can survive in survival mode the best thing for noobs to do is to keep their starter house obviously this is dependent on whether they could afford it or not in the first place but basically they will have to keep and stay in the starter house until they make it and by the look at how things are going at the moment they're probably going to have to stay in this house for years so be prepared for that grind no refurbishing the house no buying new items you basically cannot touch the house in a worst case scenario if you get so desperate for money you're gonna have to delete it so sorry noobs you're gonna have to firm it and stay in this ugly butt house for probably years to come now because the game has almost reached rock bottom the amount of donators around these days are pretty scarce which means you will have to go to work there is absolutely 
no point begging because literally everyone is broke. So I suggest you pick a job that you like and work for at least half hour to one hour each day. But now that the wages have lowered, I would say that even half an hour to an hour is not enough. So you should be grinding at least one to two hours each day my next tip for noobs is to how to avoid that hospital bill from fainting but as soon as this little heart icon comes up on the top of your screen you need to immediately sit down that's right ball block says sit down or you are out of the game just pretend it's a little bit like simon says and you will be absolutely fine now because you're sitting down you can see that your energy levels are now going up and soon that little heart icon will disappear and thankfully you will no longer faint so if you're still a bit stinky don't worry you can grab a moped from pizza delivery and drive up to bloxy burgers so to get rid of your stinkiness all you need to do is use a sink in bloxy burgers and the best thing is is that it's free so if you can't afford to pay your bills or you don't have a house or whatever the situation might be these are the ultimate survival mode tips and after you've had a wash definitely make use of the seating to get your energy up there are actually surprisingly many different locations you can choose from and if you really want a good night's sleep head back over to pizza delivery grab a moped and drive all the way to the campsite and there will be many colourful tents to choose from for you to have that good night's rest. Now my next tip is how to avoid those towing fines. And the most obvious thing to do is to not buy a car. Instead, use Pizza Planet's moped to get from A to Z. Take advantage of these mopeds because they are even faster than ever before. Trust me, you do not need a car right now. Also, I will recommend that you turn your automatic bills off so that you can pay your bills when you can and when you want to without any nasty surprises and i know this tip is a bit of a long shot but if you can i would find a rich husband you just never know your luck and i'm sure there are still rich players in the game and my last tip for fellow noobs is to enter as many giveaways as you can if you go to twitter or instagram and type in Bloxburg giveaway something will surely come up and here is a giveaway which will be ending real soon but go ahead and enter what have you got to lose even if you're not a new player go ahead and enter because times are tough anyway guys i hope this has helped you out a little bit or even make you feel a little bit better about the whole update even though a lot of these tips may be overly exaggerated but low-key i do think we're heading in this direction anyway guys thanks for watching if you like this video please give it a like and i will see you in the next one see ya